Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, table model design pattern. This uh, table model design pattern belongs to domain logic patterns and uh, this domain logic patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of uh, table model uh, design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation. A single instance that handles the business logic for all rows in a database table or view. Uh, we will see the second explanation also. A table model organizes domain logic with one class per table in the database. And a single instance of class contains the various procedures that will act on the data. Uh, to understand uh, these two sentences, uh, first we will see one example so that uh, you will understand easily. So to explain uh, this uh, table model design pattern, I have uh, taken this t three tables. Uh, the first table is hotel. It contains a hotel ID and uh, name. And uh, there are two rows. Uh, first row contains uh, uh, Taj hotel information. And uh, second row contains uh, park hotel information. And uh, you can see a, a room table in the bottom. And it has a room ID and the room number. And <coughs> the particular room, how many beds are there? How many bedrooms are there? Uh, so here, uh, uh, only one room uh, one and uh, room number is one 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 and uh, that room number has uh, three bedrooms and in the center you can see a booking table and it has booking ID hotel ID room ID and booked uh, so booking ID is one and hotel ID one means uh, Taj hotel and uh, room ID one means uh, one one eleven uh, it is booked or not yes if it is this booked is no means this hotel is not booked okay uh, so what we are uh, going to see is uh, we are seeing how uh, we can book a room in the hotel room for that how we can uh, define classes uh, using this uh, table model design pattern so to uh, corresponding to this hotel uh, table uh, as per uh, this table model design pattern we have to define one hotel class so this class uh, or this instance of this class is responsible for uh, getting available hotel room from the uh, hotel table uh, and uh, inserting some uh, new hotels in the hotel table or updating uh, the hotel information or deleting uh, some hotel information and getting some single hotel information uh, so it will have a method to uh, do all those uh, operations okay so this single class or this single instance is responsible for uh, uh, doing all kind of operation in this uh, particular uh, hotel table so like that uh, corresponding to this booking table uh, we have a booking class so this is responsible for doing all the operation in the booking table uh, book the hotel room and uh, cancel the uh, hotel room so this uh, booking class is uh, responsible for that okay and uh, corresponding to this uh, room table and we have a room class so this room class is uh, responsible for uh, creating new rooms and updating the room information and getting some room information uh, from the room table so it, it will have all kind of uh, functionality to access the uh, room table information so now if you read this you will understand a single instance that handles the business logic for all rows in the database table so this is one instance this is one instance and this is one instance so each instance is responsible for accessing uh, corresponding uh, table information in the database okay and if you read a second sentence it will be more clear a table model organizes business logic with one class per table in the database so each uh, table uh, we have one class that class contains various procedures that act on the data that al already i explained like hotel class will contain uh, more functionalities uh, to access hotel information update the information insert the information so that is what the second sentence says okay and uh, uh, the third sentence is, it is mapping of one business object to one table so that we already seen and it is much closer to simple domain model uh, design pattern 
so what is simple domain uh, model design pattern how it works uh, uh, the samples that all those things i created a separate video please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos and uh, so that you will understand uh, what is single domain model okay uh, so it is uh, similar like single uh, simple uh, domain model uh, but unlike uh, uh, domain model it does not have inheritance relationship meaning uh, this uh, table model design pattern won't support uh, inheritance uh, relationship okay uh, when to use uh, this uh, domain logic uh, when to use this uh, table model design pattern is when uh, domain logic is simple and uh, data is in uh, tabular uh, format okay and okay so here you can see one class class uh, room book so this uh, this is the uh, this is the class which will use uh, these three classes to book the room uh, from the hotel okay so this class use hotel booking and room classes and book hotel uh, for the particular uh, user okay and uh, this is about uh, table model uh, uh, design pattern uh, and I have created a separate video uh, what is the difference uh, between transaction script uh, domain model uh, transaction script uh, design pattern and uh, table model design pattern uh, please uh, log into my channel and watch that video so that you will understand what is the difference between uh, transaction script pattern and uh, this uh, table model uh, design pattern and uh, this is about uh, table model design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye